and welcome to this Story Builder video tutorial. The title of this tutorial is Bow Ties Part 1 The Left Hand Side. Story Builder models accidents visually in the form of a bow tie, seen here. Now, to start us off, I'm just going to collapse the bow tie into its single center box, which you can see here. The center of any bow tie is the accident itself, referred to in Story Builder as the center event. And I'm just going to use this plus sign here now to open up the structure on the left hand side. And now, if I zoom out and use the root button to center, we can see the left hand side of the bow tie, where a sequence of potential events and prevailing conditions leads to the accident, or center event. And then on the right hand side of the bow tie, certain events and consequences lead from that accident. You can think of these simplistically as the causes side on the left, and the consequences side on the right. It's easy to get lost in this sprawling structure, so remember that you can always get back to the center event by clicking the root button here. Or here. Story Builder comes with a database of these bow tie accident templates listed here in this menu on the left. To view a bow tie, simply click on one in this list. We are going to look at the bow tie for fall from height ladders, which looks at the potential causes and consequences of someone falling from a ladder or steps at work. Well, we're going to look at the left hand side of the bow tie now, so let's just zoom in and scroll to the left. Now, the left hand side of a bow tie starts with basic victim information, specifically nationality and language skills. Now if I just click these round blue buttons above the boxes to open them out and I'll just zoom out so you can see that there. Now next we have specific physical activity. What specific physical activity was the victim performing at the time of the accident? And as I open these boxes out, as I did before, you'll notice that there are multiple levels of boxes, with each further level more specific than the last. So for example, this box says that the victim was working with handheld tools, and then these next three boxes further specify into working with handheld tools manual, motorized, or cleaning and painting. By the way, note again here how I'm opening and closing different parts of the bow tie structure using these pop-up buttons. Now we move on to the next section, Equipment Type, which specifies what kind of ladder the victim was using. Again, like with specific physical activity, we can open this up to show boxes which further specify the exact type of ladder being used. Though every bow tie is different for each type of accident, every bow tie does begin with this kind of basic information, which establishes the conditions of the accident. So information about the victim, the activity, as well as the equipment being used, or equipment type. So the next boxes start to deal with the things which lead up to the accident itself. So for example, the regulations violated. And also in this case, other accidents referred to here as incoming bow ties, which might have led subsequently to this accident. For example, here we could have had an initial fire which started in another bow tie and then led to someone falling from a ladder in this bow tie. Finally, for the left hand side, and most importantly, we have the first barrier group. In other bow ties, there might be multiple barrier groups on the left hand side, but here, there is just one. I'm just going to zoom out so you can see that. To learn more about barriers, please watch the video tutorial Barriers Explained. But for now, simply think of a barrier as literally that, a safety barrier which, if in place and functioning successfully, 
would prevent the accident from taking place, or, in story builder terms, block an accident path before it can reach the centre event. These red boxes, called barrier failure modes, show all the ways in which a barrier can fail, leading to specific loss of control events, these yellow boxes, which in turn lead to the centre event. So, for example, substandard condition of the ladder being used, let's say a rotting wooden ladder, leads to the ladder breaking, which leads to the centre event of the victim falling. Now, the barrier failure modes also each have a structure of their own, which you can see here. Now, we'll deal more with this in the Barriers Explained tutorial, but basically they specify the barrier itself, the tasks associated with that barrier, and the management of those tasks. And each of these barriers has that same structure attached to it, as you can see. And if we go to look at another bow tie, here I'm going to fall on same level, what you'll see is a very similar structure. Here it's not in the same order as what we've just looked at, but it is the same basic concept. Here we have activity, incoming bow ties, victim information, surface type, which is like equipment type, regulations violated, and the barrier group. So, now that we've looked at the left-hand side of the bow tie, we can move past the centre event to the right-hand side of the bow tie, which is covered in the next video tutorial, Bow Ties Part 2, The Right-Hand Side. Thank you.